Hello everyone, uh, this is Jonathan and uh, I'm here with Ching Walker from uh, Q. Uh, just a quick introduction video on uh, his service which is actually awesome. Unfortunately it's only for the US, but I know there's a lot of you watching. So <laughs> Shane, w w what is your app actually? They have developed an app which helps you actually automate uh, payments or have at least uh, peace of mind when dealing with your grocery shopping. Uh, you're budgeting, actually. So yeah. maybe you, you can pitch in and, and uh, yeah, absolutely. see what you're doing? Absolutely. So the, actually, it's much more than an app. It's a full banking platform that provides all the banking suite um, mm -hmm. that, that a traditional bank offers, yeah. yet it uses the cash envelope methodology except digital. Okay, so can you just, for the for the viewers, what is a cash envelope system? Some are not familiar with it, so just... Uh, can Absolutely. You, can you, uh, so about expand? 20 years ago, um, the credit card and debit card were introduced into the marketplace, which what separated money from spending. Yeah. And if you look back at the trends, spending and um, and consumer debt skyrocketed after that happened because of that separation. So what Cash Envelopes does is. For discretionary spending, you take that, that money out of the bank and you organize it in budgeted categories yeah. and you spend from that. And so that process creates organization. It makes so that money and spending are one and the same. And it also requires you to look at your budget before you spend. So it changes behavior. So it, it's a good system. It's, it, it's good to categorize. but. There's a, prob what's th there's a problem <laughs> with this envelope system, right? Well, we live in a cashless world, right? And yeah. there's so many issues with cash, I mean, using yeah. cash. And so we felt like, man, what if you could digitize that and create a smart debit card that only allowed you to spend when you first open a digital envelope? Mm -hmm. And once you spend, that that transaction is recorded, the whatever's left over from that envelope returns and replaces that card to a default zero status, meaning if you process it, it will decline. Mm -hmm. Reducing all possibilities of fraud, it totally puts the user in control of their spending, as well as creates a lot of security and safety. So did I understand correctly, you get a card? Yes, you do. So yeah, that, hence the total uh, banking solution, which is then linked to whatever accounts you have here uh, in the US, right? You, so whatever banks, actually, or? because we are a bank, yeah. we do this through our banking platform. So we help you develop, I mean, set up an, a checking account yeah. okay. and a savings account. Okay. And the cool thing is with, with each cube or with each category, mm -hmm. you can tag that as a savings category or a spending category. For example, our family, we save for a family trip. We save for our, our insurance deductible. We save for insurance premiums. We save for Christmas. And yeah. with each one of those um, categories, we're only going to spend once or twice a year. So I'd yeah. rather that be re earning a higher rate of return in the savings exactly. account yeah, rather than right. sitting in a checking account. Which does nothing. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So when I put push that as a savings category, mm -hmm. that money goes into a high yield yeah. savings account earning over a 2% interest until I change it mm -hmm. to a spending category, which like at Christmas time, yeah. it transfers over to the checking account so we can awesome. spend it. And uh, what I really like about this is that it's it removes a lot of brain work and a lot of actual uh, yeah work to plan this because if you're doing the envelope system, I mean I've done it myself previously. I'm a nerd, okay? <laughs> but <laughs> it's true. But but the it, and budgeting and playing with Excel sheets, I still do that. But uh, it takes a lot of time. Yeah, because Cube is not available in Europe, so I'm just waiting to, for you guys to expand. Yeah. <laughs> but the, my point is that it takes time to, to do the envelope system or the Excel sheets or whatever you, you use. And let's say it takes me half an hour, 40 minutes per month. But how much does it? How much time does it take? Five to, minutes. To, to do five once, minutes. Once you have this set up, yeah. you plan your life once and then you live. That's and awesome. Everything is automated. And, and that's what I like. You know, okay, I do, for example. What I recommend my readers, and I think a lot of uh, personal finance advisors do, is to set money aside as soon as you get your paycheck, like 10%, 15%, whatever. Yeah. But that's a good system, and I can do it, most people do it, but the categorization 
I, I'm, I'm not doing it always like this, you know, so it's... That's right. And I think that's uh, what people can struggle with. Absolutely. Uh, losing overview, spending time, it's a bit... Uh, it's a hassle to do it. It is But if hassle. you use Cube or... Uh, yeah, then if you can do it and remove the, the actual world, the actual brain power that you need to use, things will uh, be much more simple. And I really like that. Yeah. Absolutely. In Cube yeah. Money, the average user spends four hundred and forty dollars less per month yeah. by being intentional with spending yeah. which truly that's five thousand dollars a year and that changes lives yeah exactly that's cool and just a question how long have you been in the market guys so we've been in the market about two years two years okay mm -hmm. and how was uh, your customer base is it uh, growing like exponentially or slowly or how is it uh... so we, we actually have controlled the growth yeah to make sure that we have the features and the quality that we want yeah. but in in a matter of a few months we've scaled to almost 10,000 users oh that's awesome that's awesome yeah, and that's who exactly. um, who are these users is it like young generations or is it like even my my parents or like uh, <laughs> Good question. Yeah. So it's been funny. We thought that it would um, be mostly millennials, yeah. female millennials from the 25 think, yeah. to 35. Yeah. Um, but we've had a really strong interest with the baby boomers because they're retiring, their income is going down, and it's fixed. Yeah. And they're worried. Their biggest worry is that money lasting through their through their lives. Yeah, and so Cube Money provides an opportunity that, for them to really create purpose behind their money and um, plan their spending. Yeah. Um, and so plan and track their spending and so it, it's interesting we've had those that are baby boomers but then we have middle age because their their children are graduated from high school and now they're like man I haven't saved anything in retirement yeah. I've got to get serious I've got to get uh, started, and, and, yeah. and I need to control my spending so that I have more yeah. money to put towards retirement so okay. it's been interesting that the diversity um, of the demographic okay. that has been interested and I will ask a trick question yeah uh, what are what have been maybe issues or uh, in your growth in your control growth because there must have been issues well, I hope not but what have been the um, issues and what are maybe the complaints or the yeah there's been there's been a lot of issues to be honest with yeah. you um, beginning this this journey as a small player yeah. we were only able to connect with a processor and a banking partner that fit our size yeah. um, and that processor wasn't strong enough to handle the growth mm -hmm. and handle the functionality that we were looking for. And so to be honest with you, we're in the process right now of transferring to one of the best processors in the world um, and an international banking partner that will allow us to scale in the United States and then go international, which is really exciting. Yeah, that's cool, that's cool, I love that. And um, so I'll just, we'll end up uh, with the thank you. But uh, we'll <laughs> end up with the a question like, how do people get started? How do they? How can they find you? Okay, so if you go to gocube.io, yeah. um, that's where you will find us. I will uh, link it anyway in the in the notes uh, in the comments, so you can just click and uh, go. It will it will be an affiliate link. Let's be honest. Um, and it's up to you. You can go to to the website or you can go through my link. It doesn't matter. It doesn't make a change for you, but it helps me. Uh, grow and produce more and the the functionality that we're looking for will be launched in March of yeah. 2020 okay. um, that's when the, the the final touches with the banking partner and the processing mm -hmm. partner will come together so to be honest with you I would launch this video in March <laughs> <laughs> so, Excellent, excellent. Uh, okay well, it's been a pleasure, and uh, thank so thank you, you for being on the show. Absolutely. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank okay. you. Very good. Okay. Thank you.